my baby cooks not steaming, I don't know why, what do I do? Again, very common question for our machines. Um, oftentimes customers don't know where to place the water correctly, um, so it's a nice and easy way to walk through. So again, you wanna make sure that they have their machine in front of them. Uh, they've confirmed that when the machine plugs in and they go to turn it on for the first time, that it lights up quick, beeps once, that confirms that they have power. Now what I like to do, right out of the gate for a customer who says that they're having trouble steaming, is I'll ask them to you know, lock their bowl into place, make sure it's nice and snug, and you wanna push it all the way in a clockwise motion until it can't go anymore. Again, sometimes if it sits like this, it feels like it's locked, uh, it's not, and the safety mechanisms will prevent it from working. So again, lock nice and securely into place. Again, ask them to push the lid down. And then you just wanna have them either, you know, turn the knob, uh, basically the check. Okay, now that means that we have power, everything's locked securely into place. Again, because due to the safety mechanisms, if a bowler lid was not locked into place, you would not be able to blend. So this just basically confirms that the customer knows how to lock everything into place. Um, so that wouldn't be preventing them from steaming. So next step is you wanna get them to put the water into the reservoir. So again, you wanna lift up the lid arm, remove your steam gasket, unlock the bowl. Uh, usually for testing, you can go ahead, just fill it up to water level one. We essentially just wanna make sure that the steam cycle starts and starts going. Uh, again, this is for our Pro and Pro 2X models. The reservoir is listed, uh, located, excuse me, underneath the lid arms. It's a small metal hole. So again, walk through the customer, have them pour the water into the reservoir. We're gonna go ahead, Get our bowl locked back in. Again, making sure that it's all the way. Can't, you know, turn it any less. They would go ahead and place their steam back in. Then. Again, for testing, um, this isn't required. We just want to make sure that the bowl is locked into place. We're going to get our lids pushed down. Again, nice and firm click. Our uh, latch is straight. And then we want to go ahead and have them push the button. Now, if it's going to steam correctly, the Babel logo will remain lit the steam button will remain lit until the cycle is complete. Again, if we're testing with one uh, level one of water, it's gonna steam for approximately five minutes. So at this point, you have confirmed with the customer that their machine is functional. Um, again, steam water has gone in, machine will start steaming, and again, they should start hearing a gurgling and cooking shortly. Now you see how my machine just turned off. That means that there's no water inside the reservoir. So if you have a customer that calls and says that they put, you know, they got it all started, they know what to do, um, they start the steam cycle, and after a few seconds, the light turns off and it stops. More than likely, they did not put the water inside the reservoir. Uh, again, it's another safety feature of the baby cook where it won't overboil, so it's only going to cook for as long as the water it has inside.